science fiction art, which has been looked down on for so long, feeds through into the cultural mainstream in a way that is now all around us. It's become ubiquitous. Big blockbuster cinema, special effects, television, video games, graphic novels. The aim of the book is to produce uh, an ambitious, I think, cultural history of this form of art over the last 150 years. We are hoping to reproduce about 300, 350 covers, all of them with commentary from us, all of them reproduced in colour. There's a story to be told, I think, about the a sort of subterranean history of 20th century art that we can tell through these amazing, glorious, wonderful, colourful, sometimes crazy, sometimes sublime works of art. Science fiction art can be lots of things. It can be striking, it can be memorable, it can be silly, it can be crass, it can be ridiculous, it can be sublime, it can tell you about the time and the culture it comes from. We want to put together a book that embraces all of these aspects of science fiction art. This is the 80s -est cover I think I've ever seen. Almost unreadable font. Yes. To be signed off on that, that's amazing. We want to reflect all of these trends and, and uh, where the field may be going. My name is Adam Roberts and I am a science fiction novelist. I'm also a science fiction critic and an academic historian of science fiction. And I'm Graham Slight and I'm also a science fiction critic. I don't think I've seen that before actually. Look at that. Does that encapsulate your experience of reading this novel? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the slightest. <laughs>